Welcome to this video on converting between grams and moles. Let's get straight into it. So here's your first problem. What is the mass in grams of 3.8 moles of sulfur? First thing you're going to do is you're going to work out what is one mole of sulfur. What does that weigh? Okay, so what you can do is you can look at your periodic table. All of this information on the periodic table is giving you one mole of each of these elements and how much it weighs. That's what the bigger number on the top is. So one mole of sulfur we can see weighs 32 grams. So we can write here one mole of sulfur weighs 32 grams. I can then summarize this. So one mole is 32 grams. We want 3.8 moles, so think of this like this. Two moles, you would take 32 and you would times it by two. This would give me, you can do this on your calculator or in your heads, uh, 64 grams, what about three moles? Can you do that in your head? 32 times three, this is gonna give me, well done if you've done that, 96 grams. Now, how do we get 3.8? Well, I think a lot of you can figure that out. 3.8 moles. You're going to take 32 and you're going to times it by, you guessed it, 3.8. And this is going to give me, let me quickly just crunch this into my calculator. This is going to give me 121.6 grams. So your question is, what is the mass of 3.8 moles? Or so 3.8 moles weighs 121.6 grams. Okay, so what happens if we had to ask this the other way around? So just like we've done here, what is the mass in grams of 3.8 moles? They've given you the amount of moles. What happens in a question when they give you the amount of grams and they ask you how many moles in 122.5 grams of sodium chloride? Okay, so first things first with all of this stuff is when you are given a compound, you can always work out how much one mole of that compound weighs from the periodic table. So let's go over here and just to let you know that the relative formula mass, this is just how much one um, compound weighs, okay? Or you can work out how much each of these individual elements weigh. That's just from the periodic table by looking at the top big number, okay, the mass number. So we've got 23 grams, that's one mole of sodium, and we've got 35.5 grams for, for chlorine. So when we're talking about sodium chloride, you just plus these two together, 35.5. This is going to give me 58.5 grams. That's one mole of NaCl gives me that amount, okay? So if I write on my board over here, if I say to you, well, I've just worked out 58 point, sorry, what was it? 58.5, okay, 58.5 grams is one mole of NaCl. We want to try and figure out how much is 122.5 grams. How many moles is this? This is what we are looking for. Well, we've got to figure out how do we get from here to here. And what we're going to do then is we're going to say 122.5 divided by this number, 58 point, sorry, that's 58. 8.5. And what does this give us? Well, let's type it into our calculator. We've got 122.5 divided by 58.5. Okay, this gives us 2.09. So effectively, we times 58.5 by 2.09, and that will give me. 122.5. Remember 58.5 came from what one mole of sodium chloride is, how much that weighs. Okay, so remember with equations, 
if I do this to the one side, I can actually go ahead and do it to the other side. So effectively what I can do here is I can say 1 times by the same number 2.09. So 122.5, how much is that going to be in moles? It's going to be 2.09 moles of NaCl. Awesome.